Hey guys, it's Megan. Um, since our last vlog, a lot has changed, even though it's only been like a couple of weeks, but now we are almost 10 months old and uh, we are eating more solid foods. You know, I think last time I did the video, we were doing strictly purees. I've now introduced like Rice Krispies and Cheerios and everything is just changing so fast and I just wanted to make sure that I document at least a little bit of it on video and share with you guys since we're not getting out the house, since we're stuck in quarantine, and since all of our family is in quarantine as well, this is one of the best ways that I can share our lives with you guys. So, yeah. And also today we are gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna try to do like three TikToks today. I did a video, well actually I'm working on editing that video now, but it's a video like a crash course on how to do TikTok and um, hopefully it'll inspire more people to get on it because I love this app and I wish more people were on it that I know, because I know you guys would be good at it. <laughs> and I know we could have a lot of fun on it as well through this quarantine time. So um, yeah, we're gonna be doing that today. We're gonna edit some videos today. And oh, I have a session today. So I'm doing my first virtual boudoir session today. So that's gonna be a thing and um, yeah, we'll see what else the day brings. Okay, well this day has been a wreck. Yeah, a wreck because I started, um, you know how I said I had those videos to edit? I did and then I found out that the microphone, it was glitching and so I'm doing all this talking and it's not picking up on anything. So I'll have to redo those later but right now, right now I'm about to do my virtual boudoir uh, session. So I have my computer here. I'm in the dining room and it's a mess because that's just how it is. So I have my computer here and I am going to FaceTime. I just had chicken pot pie and it was amazing. But I'm about to FaceTime my client. She sent me her number. So I'm copying that. And I'm gonna open up FaceTime. And Garrett's supposed to be home by now, but I don't know where he is. I know he's been having like a crazy kind of day too. So, so it's just it's just one of them type of Mondays. It's a Monday kind of day. I know, and she's screaming in my face. So I open up FaceTime and I'm just gonna be giving direction on FaceTime and and taking photos from there. So, um, let's enter the phone number. Boop -da -boop. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right, yay. Yeah, so let's start with the robe on, and okay. you got your tripod? Try to... That's what it's on now. Okay. Um, it's one of those um, ring light clamp on the windowsill. Okay. Yeah, so let me know how you want it. I didn't turn the ring light on yet. Okay. I don't know if you need any extra light, but it's two windows here. Oh, so. it looks pretty good right now. Let me just, okay. let me do a test shot and make sure that my photos will come out. This is new. I like, I've only done it a couple of times, and it was I'm nice. Else hit you up. Everybody, you know, everybody is like, "Oh, I love to do that. I love to do that." And then my inbox be like, "All right." So, what can you do? Can you raise the um the tripod up higher? I it only goes with so high. Let's see, right now. Do it like that. I don't know if that'll. Yeah. Okay. Just put it back down. I might have you on the floor then. So if your camera, your phone is like this, I want you to tilt it like that. Just the act of phone itself. Yep. Like All right. So if you can tilt the camera a little bit more this way. Like that. Right that. And I think I'm gonna have you like kind of up against the wall where the windowsill ends. Bend that leg that's closest to me in. Yep. A little bit more. And then hand on your thigh and bring it up a little bit. Right there, that's good. And look up. 
Look up top. That's good. That's nice. With your right hand, how it's on this windowsill, can you kind of bring it up and kind of touch? I'm sorry, you can't see. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, hold on. Do that again and then look down at it and yeah. Tilt your head a little bit towards the window, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you take the phone and move it over a little bit more so that I can see more of your legs? The other hand, can you kind of play with your bra strap? Just kind of like, right? Uh, that one, yeah, your, yeah. Oh, this makes me miss photography so much. Oh, <laughs> I haven't done these sessions in a while either, so I just missed it. <laughs> Can you drop that, um, the rogue one, the side that's closest to me? Yep, yep, right there. That's... Uh huh. Yep, and look at that shoulder. Give that shoulder the business. That's good. All right, relax. Oh, I missed this so much. <laughs> See, it's gonna be a mess when we out the house. <laughs> I know. Everybody gonna be out. I know, I know. <laughs> Hi, she's so cute. <laughs> Thank I you. Each. Oh, oh man. Each, and then they'll be like running around. Poor Kanye and Pepper all over the floor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Asha, so about this teething situation, so... Girl, did you get the oil? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I got the oil, yeah. Did it help? Yes, yes. A lot. I'm telling you. Man. Does she have any teeth breaking through? Yes! So, like, on Garrett's birthday, uh, March 30th, that's when the first one popped through. Oh, man. And then, and she's nine, she's on, she's, what's today? You're 10 months now. Mm. Yeah, she turned 10 months yesterday. And She's 10 months already? Yes! Only like <laughs> six or seven months. Are you serious? Yes! Oh my god. Yes, man. That's right then. You're, you're right on target. Oh my gosh. She's teething forever. She's teething since like three, four months. She was too. But she was too. But nothing but showed up no until. until like 10 months. Yep. I'm just telling you, like, as soon as she turns a year old, she's probably going to get all of her teeth. I like he was he had two little teeth here at ten months and then I don't know what happened between ten months and like his first birthday he started eating like fish and chicken uh -huh. and all his teeth started coming down and they weren't coming one at a time they were coming like two three at a time gross so, that's what's happening she has three now yeah two it like two weeks ago she only had one and now they all come in all at one time it's so she, crazy. She all right, I just finished our virtual boudoir photo session and I'm about to go edit them and we'll see how they come out. All right, so now that I imported the photos into Lightroom, just like I would do if it were a regular boudoir session, I can start editing them. But unlike a regular boudoir session, since it's not taken with the camera and it's pretty much like a screenshot of a cell phone image, the quality of the image cannot endure the rendering that um, regularly regular edited images would normally take because there's a dramatic loss of pixels in that photo so the editing that I do here is very light like usually the exposure the contrast and any um, any smoothing of the skin that I can do um, and any just like little small things and like with boudoir I like to keep it real because we are all real people and you know we have to love our bodies for what they are and appreciate you know everything that comes with us that make us the phenomenal women that we are and which really brings me to the point where I really wanted to share a part of Tasha's boudoir session because she is in the field of holistic health and um, sexual healing. So Tasha is an expert in sacred sensual movements. She helps women identify with their womb and she, and she does womb clearing courses. She really helps her community in that sense and she's a big advocate for women embracing their bodies and I thought that she would be absolutely perfect to kind of showcase with this movement of virtual boudoir sessions since we're in the house and you know boudoir sessions isn't normally something that we would say oh I'm gonna step out and do that 
it takes a lot of courage and self-empowerment to really go through with it and each woman who comes to me and does something like this with me i really really gain something from them from the confidence and just um the ownership of taking control of your body and owning it you know i just I really like it and um, it's a great confidence booster for this COVID quarantine. And just with that being said, I would recommend it. Even if you don't do it with me, I would recommend doing it with another photographer and just seeing how it goes. And I feel like a virtual, um, virtual might be a little bit easier for somebody because you don't have another person directly in front of you staring at your body you know you're in the privacy of your own home they uh, have their cell phone or the computer and they can just really go with the flow however they feel comfortable with it and then getting your images back um you're like oh wow like i've been um i've done four um since i've been taking a while editing this video but i've done four of them now and each one has been like wow that was a lot better than i thought it was going to be so i've been getting a lot of positive feedback on it and just really wanted to share it with you guys share some of the, the outcomes how we do it and um yeah and for photographers since we're not out like how we we normally are during this time like look at the light the lighting is perfect right now i know a lot of my photographer friends are like struggling like i want to get out of the house but you know, it's important for us to stay in quarantine, but even in quarantine, there's so much that you can do. So like for something like this, it is exercising your skills as a photographer to work on um, like your posing skills. Because with this, um, with virtual boudoir sessions, it is not so much the technical expertise of, you know, manually focusing your camera and focusing on your aperture and shutter speed, ISO, all that, but it, it helps you focus on that human connection that you need as a photographer to help direct and make your, your um, subject feel comfortable and confident in front of your lens because at the at the end of the day, it really depends on this, this right here, this communication, this connection with your subject that really makes you a good photographer, I think. So it is a safe way to exercise yourself as a photographer and as a creative. So for me, this has been a great way to exercise my creativity and to do something that makes me feel empowered while empowering others. I know it's a very vulnerable um, position that we put ourselves in, but I feel like that's when the best art is created. So I highly recommend this. If you'd love to see another boudoir session, let me know in the comments below, or if there's any tips, any questions you have, feel free to comment in the section below. Um, follow us at Megapixels Media and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great week and get creative. And get creative. Okay. All right, good enough. <laughs> <laughs>